Okay, here are my trades for the day. Um, I have no discretionary trades to show you today, so uh, we're just going to go right into the moving average trade I had. Uh, I only had the, uh, one trade in it today, and uh, right now you're looking at the Dow. Um, combination of this pullback with uh, about three bars that reacted to the moving average, plus um, I looked at the 10 minute and the daily charts for the Dow and figured we were going to continue heading up. So uh, I went long in there and uh, I used DDM to make my play. I longed at 1933 and once this run happened here I figured we were probably going to cap around twenty dollars so I got real aggressive with my uh, with my trailing stop and uh, I ended up getting stopped out at 1978. And here are my forex trades for the day. My first trade here is in the euro dollar on the one minute chart. I went short here because uh, we had hit this trend line and pulled back off of it. Uh, I took three quarters of my shares at this uh, minor support level here just in case we decided to bounce off and continue up. Uh, but we didn't so I wound up taking uh, my last quarter down here at this support level. My next trade is in the Australian dollar Japanese yen on the five minute chart. Uh, I went short here, and my original stop loss was up here at this resistance level, but I decided to tighten it because we were reacting to this minor support level, and we were still in this overall uptrend, and uh, I got stopped out here. Last trade is in the euro dollar on the one minute chart. Um, I longed uh, 10,000 units here. Because I had a feeling we were going to break this trend line, but because I didn't wait for the actual trend line break, I wanted to go in on a light uh, size there. And uh, I almost get stopped out down here, but I didn't. And um, here we uh, we finally broke the trend line, so I decided to jump in on another 25,000 uh, units. Typically, I don't like adding to losers though like that, but uh, in this case, you know, like my notes say down here. I would have longed it anyways, even if I wasn't in a chart or a trade. So uh, that's why I, uh, I added there. And then I uh, I had a limit order for uh, 40,000 units here in case we had a breakout of this resistance level, which we ended up having. And uh, I took the 10, uh, 35k there, so that would be the 10 and the 25, um, and uh, let the 40 ride up to this uh, resistance level up here. But uh, I should have gone for this uh, this main resistance level up here.